was day eight. When Gunnar was little and I was taking him to daycare and he didn't want to go, he used to put his heels down on the ground so I couldn't push the stroller and I would have to like flip it to make it like a wheelbarrow and he did this every day even though I always took him to daycare. He always tried to put the brakes on and it's like he's still the same way. The morning got off to a bit of a late start. He's gotten dressed and like I've done everything and now it's like he just won't go. Hi. Uh, bad news, I can't get him out again. I know. Like I'm really at my wit's end with him. Something to do with uh, anxiety. Yeah, it's like an extreme sort of anxiety that makes yeah. you like be unable to deal with like anything, like any demands of everyday life. Yeah, like you were saying, uh, yeah, you can't hear things, and it's like a, it's like they depict like an acid trip in a movie, you know, like. What, for him? Like a pencil drops, like, across the class, and he hears a click land on the floor in slow motion with a big echo. Really? It, like, it's you know, a lot of it is sensory, you think? Is that kind of movie? I mean, I know that something is hard for him. Like, I know he's going through something hard. But... Yeah, yeah, he goes to these... He was, he was down here last night trying to sing... He likes to sing karaoke a bit, but he couldn't even do that. Why? I don't know, he didn't like the sound of his voice. That last illness that I caught out of him, like, I haven't been the same either. What the hell is going He's on? very tired all the time, you know. Yeah, but you haven't had, like, a major personality change. Well, no, like, I'm, I'm not, like... But I, you know, I am, he's like prone to shit like that, so. I know, it's so hard though, it's like, he's so smart, and I just, there's so much potential, I just, um, like I see all the potential in him, and it's like, if you would just go there, like, you will succeed, because you're so smart, there's nothing you can't do, he had a 92 in science and a 90 in math last semester, and all his grades were above average, and that's with him missing an entire month of school, like, he's so brilliant. And he's such a brilliant musician. It's like, this stuff just holds him back all the time. Yeah. And I, I feel like I can't help him. I don't know what to do. The schools, like, they're, they're starting to really understand that this is not just a simple matter of, like, he needs to be there on time. You have to get him there. This is, like, really serious. And, like, as I've been doing videos all this time, and I say, oh, my son's autistic. And people look at him, and they're like, he looks normal. <laughs> but yeah. he's not. Yeah. I don't know what to do with him this morning. Yeah. I made an appointment for Gunnar with his doctor tomorrow. I don't know what he can do, but I mean, I certainly can't fix this problem. So I'm going to try to get him a strep test and maybe he needs a referral to psychiatry. I mean, we don't know what to do. For now, he's still, like he's refusing to go because he thinks he's going to have an anxiety attack when he gets there. He has agreed that, you know, he'll drink a valerian passion flower tea, which might help with the anxiety. And after he has his tea, he's going to try to go. Like, he knows he's having anxiety attacks. And he knows that that's what's stopping him. But he, I mean, knowing you have that problem doesn't mean that the problem goes away, you know. Well, I've made peace with the fact that school is not going to happen today. I've talked to the teachers, so I know what he has to study. And hopefully he can study at home and then do his exams next week anyway. So I'm moving on with my day. And I did some makeup with my Christmas coffee palette from Too Faced that I bought myself last year for Christmas. I love the packaging. The colors are nice, too. I've got more hand washing. I got all these... Uh, 90s and Y2K tops here. I'm going to clean them and sell them on Marketplace. Well, I finally made it out. And I'm here with Justin. Hello. You guys remember Justin? I hope so. <laughs> Uncle Aspie. Uncle Aspie. <laughs> so um, Justin's going to come along with me. I have a bunch of errands to run. I had to fix up my to-do list. I got a whole bunch of new errands on there. 
Let's do those errands. Got my document from the bank so I can do my business taxes. Check. So this is where we're gonna go see Dr. Kwavnik for my new glasses. I really need it because these are the only ones I have for distance and the lenses are totally destroyed like because I wash them with, dis with dish soap. So I need another pair. I love this place. It's so like retro. Excited. Got my new Sorry? glasses. No, I'd say I'm excited. I'm going to get my oh, new glasses. Okay. I've been wearing these for oh, like 10 years. I don't even know if you'll notice the difference, but... The prescription? Yeah. I just wanted to like point to five or something. It's not like a significant difference. Oh, those are nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, Very nice. oh, sorry. Thank uh, you. Give them a try. The blue, I like the blue. Check yeah. it out, yeah. Oh, so they look yeah. like black from the front. But oh my god, my eyes feel so googly with these on. Like it it's feels like, really weird. It's like the room is swimming. Why? It's not unusual when you put a new frame. <laughs> uh, you may feel a little wheeze, woozy, feel a little nauseous. <laughs> Oh, every day I hear the same story. Really? They're cute though. They're, they look black from the outside, but there's like blue up here, which I think is really it nice. on the lighting, you know? Yeah, the blue softens the, the black. Thing. Yeah, it feels so weird when they're on my nose, so I feel like I can't, I can't tolerate them. I'm having a problem where like I can't tolerate the feeling of the glasses on my face, and I keep like having to like shift them because it's like touching my nose in a way that I can't... Like I don't know what I'm going to do. It's like a hypersensitivity problem. I think I'm like adjusting to it and getting used to it a bit. Look at the blue in there. Ooh, look, it matches my necklace. It looks very cute. It is cute, eh? It looks very nice on you. Like when you see them like this, there's lots of blue on the inside, yeah. which I love. But then when you put it on, yeah, there's not so much blue, but you can still like- That looks very nice on you. Still kind of see it there. Well, it's not bad for 200 bucks, frames and lenses included. It's like super cheap, but I mean, it's just a little uncomfortable, but I seem to be getting used to it. What do you guys think? So I got my new blue glasses. Yeah, the new look. Plus I got my leopard case and... You wore the right clothes for the glasses. Yeah, and I got the beautiful clothes. the blue book. Yeah, I got the blue here. Blue and black, black and matching so glasses. glasses. Actually, I'm happy with them, it's good. I'm very happy, and I'm super happy with the price, especially. Um, <laughs> Cheapskate that I am. <laughs> oh, but I spent a lot on my other ones, though. They spent a fortune. That's why I didn't buy new ones for like 10 years. They were like right, four right. or five, six hundred dollars each. It was crazy. Oh, uh, I got the frames like that too, if you want. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I got, I got more shopping to do. I gotta get some things for Aaron. She got Aaron some magnesium at GNC because he has a magnesium deficiency apparently. It's kind of hard. Oh look, the idyllic Christmas. It looks so cozy. They got all their nice little pajamas on. It's an ideal life. Does that seem like accurate Christmas depiction for you? No. No? What's your Christmas? I don't know, around the Christmas tree, sitting down. Drinking? Drinking. Arguing? Well, arguing, we've uh, <laughs> kind of cut that down because I just get screamed at. So. Oh, so you just learned to shut up. <laughs> Keep my uh, counsel. And, uh, just go down there and take my face off. I hope you're at least wearing cozy pajamas while you're getting. I, I haven't worn get your shit face I haven't off. worn pajamas since I was 11. Maybe you should start. <laughs> I'll get you some pajamas for Christmas. You can get drunk in them. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. This place is so <laughs> hidden. City Styles is where we're gonna go get the hat. But you didn't know this was here. You have to go like into this uh, sort of office building and there's a store yeah. up there. You have to kind of know what Canadian POS means. Canadian. Maybe they're talking about Justin Trudeau. <laughs> it's not actually the right store. We have to go somewhere else. It smells like pot in here. Wow, lots of pink in H&M. What's going on? Okay, we're gonna try this one here. This is where he sent us lids. It's a Pittsburgh Pirates baseball cap that we're looking for. Oh, I'm so excited. I got Aaron's hat. Very special Pittsburgh Pirates hat that like this in the back with a little brim like that. Yay! 
Yay, so happy. Look at the pattern on these. They're Canada Goose. They must cost a fortune, but look at the beautiful flower patterns. I love that. This one, look at this. This is so cute. It's like a Victorian floral pattern. I'm kind of curious how much that coat costs. Should we go in like just to see? Let's go see what it costs Canada Goose. I don't know why they're so expensive, but apparently they are. Oh my god, they're even more expensive than I thought. You wonder how much they cost? Here, I'll show you. These ones right here that I was admiring, these floral ones, are $1,200 each plus tax. And this one, $1,500 plus tax. And they also had like a really gorgeous pink one that looked a lot like what I'm wearing except pink. And it was like $1,200 or $1,100. God, who can afford a $1,500 coat? Hi, Robin. Sonia? Yeah. Okay. How are you doing? How are you? Good. This is Robin. Plays the, this is a clarinet, right? Another special request? No. Christmas. Just What's sing your high. Christmas or one of your songs for Christmas? Um. I might know. I might know. I know a few dozen. Let it. Dozen wait. Let it snow, or I'm dreaming okay, of a white Christmas. Very cute, thank you. That was Robin, um, the clarinet player. The reason I know him is that I used to busk, I used to play keyboards. So he and the uh, Cyril the Spoon Man, you know, we used to like busk in this area, so that's how I know him. Gotta make another little stop at the post office. Pick up pick up Gunner's Christmas present. Thank you. I got Gunner two hoodies from True Squat. I, it's it's the bearskin hoodie. Like some kind of very special tactical, you know, something that guys like. I have to go here, Japanese grocery store. Oh, great. Yeah, this is what I want. I want to make a Japanese curry with the curry cubes. Gunner wants to do this. You just put your meat and your vegetables in the pot, boil the water, and then you put the curry cubes in, and it just turns into like a nice curry stew. I'm so hungry. I think I might get one of these or the pumpkin one. Justin and I are gonna have a little hobo snack. We're gonna have our pumpkin croquettes. Yeah, right here on the ledge. Hobo life. Okay, I've never had this before. You ever had that? No. Japanese pumpkin croquettes. Mm, I like it, but the sauce is kind of like a weird flavor. A bit sour and stuff. It's good though. Mm. I'll stop at the grocery store. This grocery store used to be like a curling alley or a curling stadium, you know, curling. Oh my god, this is insane. Look, they have the best prices here 99 cents for a pineapple. Mmm, like Brussels sprouts on sale. That's where I get all my vegetables here. Carrots are like 99 cents. Frozen peas, $3.79. I need some, um, I need some kind of lunch meat for Gunner. Take whatever's cheapest. This is the cheapest one, black forest ham. $1.29 for 100 grams. Sometimes I like to make a fancy Asian dinner and I'll get one of these chow mein noodles. How much is that? $2.39. The guys will appreciate it. Go check out the meat specials here. And oh my gosh, like they have the most amazing prices here sometimes. Like, okay, it's filet mignon, very fancy, but whoa, the price is so good. So this is very expensive meat. It's very high quality though, so $8. This is gonna have to feed the three of us. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a Chinese um, stir fry with this and some broccoli and for extra protein, I'm just gonna put some egg in there. So that way we can have a really special, really tasty dinner. Pork chops, 372. That's gonna be for three people. I'm gonna get the broccoli and cheddar pie, chicken pie and the tortilla because they're on sale right now. So it's like a dollar fifty or dollar sixty off. So that's a really quick dinner. Easy for me. Easy for me basically gives me a night off of cooking. I am gonna get one of these. That's my treat. Three bucks. This kind of sucks, but like I really need some salad dressing, and this is absolutely the best one ever. This is so good. Oh my god, it's so small though. What can you do? Okay, that's great. Soy sauce is on sale. I need one of those. That's for my marinades. 
Oh yes. I need one of these. That's gonna be, that's our lunch a lot of the time. You get what, eight out of that? That's pretty good. And I need one of these for Gunner. Ginger, yes, ginger. Two for three dollars, so what? A dollar fifty for garlic? Yeah, that's better even than Costco. Ooh, my favorite, the specials down here. You gotta dig a little bit. Oh, get some lemons for Aaron. Uh oh, wrong lemon. Okay, that's pretty good. Here, they're a little, you know, scratched, but they still look good. That's for Aaron's juice. Super cheap. All of it, really cheap. Where's that? Those are pears. They're just a little scratched. So this is why I get all my fruits and vegetables here because it's even cheaper than Costco. Honestly, the prices are so good. Like crazy cheap here. I mean, I do feel a bit like I'm dumpster diving when I'm down there. <laughs> but like whatever, right? Whoa, oh my god, 99 cents! Crazy! See, that's weird. That's weird. The regular celery was $4. The organic celery is $3. So I guess I can get a celery. $5 for blackberries. It's crazy. <laughs> $2 for raspberries? Oh. Mm, I love those so much. Okay, in the end, I am going to go with these. These are the cheapest. 99 cents a pound. Zucchinis. Oh, you got some of the good dressing. Yeah, I did. I splurged on that. So I have all this. Plus all this. Okay, so my total with all that fresh stuff and the meat and everything, 94, 39 Canadian. I think it's not bad. Justin has to go home and I gotta make dinner. You wanna say bye, Justin? Bye, everyone. Okay, I'm done with my shopping and I'm gonna be making this for dinner, taking the easy way out. Cheddar uh, chicken and broccoli pie. It makes a nice dinner though. Look how good it looks. Take out for Aaron. I think he's gonna eat downstairs. Mmm, looks so good. I'm so hungry. Because I've been running around a lot all day. I got a lot done on my to-do list and I got my new glasses. Let me know what you think with the blue. And I hope that you guys enjoyed me bringing you along to show you how I do my grocery shopping. I go a lot in the rejects bin. I think I save a lot of money that way. I mean, I came home with a ton of produce and, and the whole thing, plus like, what, four days worth of meat for dinners was like 95 bucks for three people. And then some of the other things like the milk, the bread and other meats I get at Costco. And then my sauces I get in another store. Maybe I'll show you that some other time. But I, I hope you enjoyed that anyway, shopping haul, you know. And as far as Gunner goes, well, um, we never did get him out and I was in communication with the school. Basically, I'm going to take him to the doctor tomorrow and we'll see if we can get a note for him to be excused from his exams for mental health reasons because he's having like really bad anxiety attacks. And hopefully he will make it into school to write his quizzes for the next couple of weeks and that's pretty much all we can do. And as far as today goes, I mean, I had to just move on because like he was not going to go and there wasn't much else I could do and it was really driving me crazy. So I moved on and I got a whole lot done and I feel like it was a really good day after all, for me anyway. I felt good, in case you didn't notice. <laughs> I wasn't tired, I didn't have pain today and I think that's largely because I just got enough sleep last night. I think a lot of my pain and fatigue is just from plain old sleep deprivation and whereas before I could have gotten through my days with six hours of sleep, now I just can't. I have all kinds of pain and I mean, it's really extreme and I just can't do it. And, and I do have pain and fatigue even if I do sleep enough. But when I don't sleep enough, it's horrible. So today was a really good day. I'm grateful for that. And I just want to say thank you for everybody. Uh, thank you to everybody. I just want to say thank you to everybody for joining me in the chat. And it's so nice to see you and talk to you. And I feel like we're kind of getting to know each other, which is cool. Thanks for your support on Patreon, PayPal, and here. I appreciate it. And thank you for the emotional support also, especially. 
And I pray that God will bless you during this time, during the holiday season, that his peace will be with you. I just pray for you guys to be safe and to be happy, to be comforted, and for God to be present in your lives. So thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.